And we're back. What's good, y'all? Quay Max, a.k.a. Quay. Throat mad dry. I need something to lubricate it. Anyway, SML movie, The Mother Freaking Acorn. Uh, interesting video. Like, I don't know how they go spin this, because let's be honest. Who gives a frick about an acorn? Seriously. So, I don't know how they going to make this pog champ, but we're going to find out. Hopefully, y'all doing good. Let's get it. Officer Simmons, Officer Guy, get in here. What's up, <coughs> sir? I'd like you two boys to meet Enrique. Enrique, huh? Hola, amigo. Can we see That's El not Ricardo? Enrique. Yeah, show me some papers. No, no, That's no, boys. Slogan. He's Puerto Rican. Oh, so he's one of us. Barely. Welcome to the United States, buddy. He was born in <laughs> Alabama. His parents were born in Puerto Rico. Yeah, I can speak English. Oh, how incredibly racist of us. Exactly, and I need you two boys to knock that okay. off for today. Enrique here is from the show Cops. He's going to be following you around, recording everything you do today. Oh, no, sir. Me and Simmons don't play by I mean, he better... He, I, I, I'm going to assume he's hardworking because he's Hispanic, so... He need to be on his P's and Q's. I don't want him to be recording for a little bit. He want to take a break. We are we only 10, 15 minutes in. He want to take a break to Taco Bell. Nah, Pedro. You need to get to work or it's going to be taking your green card. Freak out of here. Boy. Yeah, we say bad stuff in the car all the time. Well, today you don't. I want you two on your best behavior because the whole world's watching. Can we still say bad stuff if it's in a rap song? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. I guess no Kanye man, Simmons... West people in Paris. We mostly just like to say the title of the song, specifically the first word. Okay, come on, Eric. My yes, name's knows. Enrique. Nobody from Alabama is named Enrique. Hey there, I'm Officer hey. Brooklyn Guy. This is my partner, Simmons. Hello, I'm on TV. Hi, Mom. Yeah, we like to patrol this neighborhood. <laughs> A lot of crazy stuff happens around here. Things you wouldn't believe. Oh, look at that. A nice man taking out the trash. Hey there. Yeah, see, not everybody in this neighborhood. That's a death. Uh, that's a whole dead crime. body. The oh, hell? Look at that, Simmons. An African American man jogging. Now, he might be just going for a daily <laughs> jog, but he might be running away because he just did a crime. Oh, I don't think a little stop and frisk could hurt. So, you're just going to skip over the part where somebody in a, in a weird looking attire. In a in a lifeless body in a in a freaking trash bag. That's crazy. That's the same. But you see this wonderful, sexy African American male here just walking, enjoying himself, man. Joint crazy. Crazy. Oh, hi guys. I'm Charlie. <laughs> and today I'm going on my daily jog. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Stop right there. Oh, uh, what seems to be the problem, officers? We're gonna need to stop and frisk you. Hands on your head. But why? You see the neighborhood you're in? I know it's nice, right? Yeah, a little Yo, too nice. Do you get anything in your pockets? <laughs> uh, yeah. Too nice. What, what, what is this? Oh, it's a little grass, weeds, leaves. You know, I love nature. I heard weed. All right, you're under arrest. I'll find you back. <laughs> Come on. Uh, in come you on. go. <laughs> Uh, officer, could you loosen my cuffs? I, I can't feel my wrist. And there you go. Another criminal off the streets. Because that's what we do here. <laughs> Protect and serve. Now, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cops. Oh, look at that. It's our friend from earlier. He's got a ladder. He's probably going to go change a light bulb somewhere. No. See, we need more good Samaritans like that in this community. Definitely not. Well, let's get back to the station. What? Gunshot! Shot fired! Shot fired! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bro, that one little acorn caused that, bro. I know y'all seen the video. What was it? Probably was on Twitter, y'all seen it. And a guy randomly, he thought he heard, he had PTSD, he thought he heard shots. I've been shot! I've been shot! <laughs> bro, I, wasn't he like dumping it in the car? It's freaking crazy. Buddy's insane. Breaking news, okay. Two police yes, officers exactly shot an unarmed black man while he was handcuffed and in the back of a cop car when an acorn fell tree hit the top of the car and made the officers think that they were being shot at by the guy they had just arrested you? and put in handcuffs. That's not me. A goddamn acorn guy? You couldn't Fire. tell the difference between a gunshot and a fucking acorn? It, it was a very loud acorn, sir. But it was still an acorn! Listen, sir, you weren't there. It was the biggest acorn I've ever heard. It had to be I like the size tiny. of a baseball. I'm pretty sure it dented the roof of my car. You know that acorn that Scrat from Ice Age is always going after? It was like that. You <laughs> shot at me 27 times. I helped. And that's the part <laughs> I don't understand, Simmons. Why did you start shooting? Because I saw Brooklyn start shooting. And I thought he was obviously shooting him for some reason. So then I started shooting. And if you jumped off a bridge, would you do that too? Well, it depends. Do we get to shoot someone after? <laughs> this is not a good look, boys. People already think cops are racist. Wait, sir, are, are we not supposed to be racist? No! Are you sure? Because I think what? that was like one of the first things in the handbook. We got a new handbook! Okay, well, nobody told me. What? Man, yeah, definitely. Them folks definitely racist. Talking about people in Paris, ready to shoot a black guy. Someone freaking in all black. <clears throat> Freaking body bag. 
But they trying to get him, and then they dump it on him 27 times, man. One of those, bro. So uh, how, how, is, how is the black man doing? Well, luckily he survived because somehow not one of those 27 bullets you shot at him hit him. That's crazy. Oh, good. Luckily I have the aim of a stormtrooper. So uh, since he didn't That's die, right. are we good? Is everybody good? No, we You're are fired. most certainly not good. Now he's suing the department and he wants you fired. But me w. fired? But I'm the shit, sir. Everybody loves me. <sighs> Listen, Racist. Guy, I don't want to have to let you go as an officer, but it's not up to me. It's up to the judge. Usually we can just sweep things under the rug but this one was on national television so go see the judge okay everybody wish me luck good luck mike i don't need any luck order, order. i am the honorable judge Boomer, and today we will be hearing the case of brooklyn guy who is being accused of shooting at a black man 27 times because he thought the sound of an acorn hitting the roof of his car was actually the man he just attained Ter shooting at him terrible cap uh, Charlie, could you please explain what happened? Well, I was going on my daily jog, and then I got randomly That's searched, slow. like always. Yeah. Then the cops arrested me and put me into their cop car, and then bullets start randomly flying to the window going crazy, man. It was crazy. <laughs> so I could have died. So let me get this straight. Yeah, I definitely seen that too. You not have a gun in your possession. Nope, no gun. And my hands were handcuffed and behind my back. I see. Why is he smiling, so, bro? He almost Guy, died. Please tell you can't be smiling in the court. Happy when when a freaking cop uh, is, is is thinking of a a gun going off instead of an acorn. He hitting you twenty seven times or at least trying to hit you. Ain't no way I'm be in there smiling, cheesing, bro. I'm gonna be mad that the cop's still breathing. If anything, I should be able to get the gun and air it out on him twenty seven times. Matter of fact, add an extra for good measure. Tell me how you thought the sound of an acorn hitting your car was you getting shot at. Well, you see, Your Honor, acorns and bullets are basically the same size. So when the acorn hit the top of my cop car, it sounded like a gun going bang. And then when I saw the acorn bouncing away, it looked like a bullet shell bouncing. It's an honest mistake, really. No way in hell does an acorn sound like a gunshot. Thank you. Oh, how do you know? You haven't heard it. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I want you to turn around and I'll shoot a gun and drop an acorn and you tell me which one is which. <laughs> okay, but this is going to be really hard. They sound the same. Okay, which one is this? Oh, that that is definitely an acorn. Okay, now That's how about right. this? All right, I've heard enough. Aim is Clearly terrible. You have bad hearing, and someone with bad hearing should not be a Why does he have officer. a gun in it? I hereby strip you of your badge and order that you are never to be a police officer ever again. No, please, Your Honor, I love being a cop. Well, what about Simmons? He shot okay. too. He only shot because he saw you shoot. This is all your fault. Now hand over your badge. Go on, hand it over. Oh, she be in jail. Marvin, Marvin, did you see the news about the cop who he shot at a somebody. guy over an acorn? Yeah, I just watched the cops episode. That cop That's is such face. an idiot. Yeah, what a bozo! Hey, I'm not a bozo. Maybe look, it's the acorn shooter. Acorn shooter? Is that what they're calling me now? Definitely. That was you? <laughs> you piece of shit! Hey, can I have an autograph? I don't know, I just feel I bad about this whole thing. Okay. Do you want that from Acorn Shooter or a piece of shit? Both. Okay, Acorn Shooter. Can you make that out to my niece? What's her name? Lucy. To Lucy. Lucy Watch Gucci. out for those acorns. Acorn That's Shooter, crazy. piece of shit. They treat hey, him like a, a celebrity. Together? Okay. Say cheese. The frick? They treating this this freaking criminal like he's a slut. First of all, he should be in jail. Of course, he should have got stripped of his rights as a police officer, but he should have been in jail. And the fact that they're doing a, a freaking, uh, uh, trying to take a picture and an autograph, Freaking insane. That's like trying to get an autograph with, with George Zimmerman, man. Or, or a picture with George Zimmerman. Man. And you're trying to get EDP's hand, hand, his Hancock more ways than one. Um, nah. Oh, you don't make this even better? Hold on. <laughs> oh, say acorn! Acorn! <laughs> but like I was saying, I just feel so bad about this whole thing. I feel partially responsible. But I don't understand Ooh. how you mistook a acorn hitting your car for a gunshot. Thanks. It was a really loud acorn, okay? It must have fallen from like 35,000 feet. I thought it was a meteor slamming into the earth like boom. Like, I thought it was a cannon from a pirate ship shooting at me. I thought I was shooting at Captain Hook. Well, listen, I, I don't know what kind of punishment you got, but you deserved it. Well, they fired me. I'm not allowed to be a cop anymore. Well, that's for the best. Well, tell me something bad about you. Well,
little, every time I pee, it dribbles a little bit in my pants. Ha ha, pee pants. Maybe you shouldn't have to wear pants anymore, huh? How about that? Maybe that's for the best. Maybe it's your fault that your penis leaks. How about that? Listen, you shot at a guy over an acorn sound. Well, when you put it like that, it sounds worse. Yeah, so. I just want to be a cop again. No. Well, you don't need to be a cop. You're a doctor and a firefighter and a pilot. Yeah, you but should I get that to took I too. had so much power. I could do anything I wanted. Well, go be a mall cop. Marvin, I don't weigh 400 pounds. I don't own a Segway. They're not going to let me do that. Well, then give up on being a cop and focus on your other jobs. No, I want to be a cop. You shouldn't even be plan. nothing. What is it? Okay, so maybe if I do something really good, people will forget about the bad thing I did. So I need you to strap a fake bomb to your chest and then get on an American Airlines flight. And then halfway, I need you to stand up and say i'm gonna blow up this plane what the hell so i could be on the on the no flight list so i could be a flight risk he he heck nah you must be tripping you must be out your cotton picking slave 1800s plantation mine frick no <laughs> i'm not about to do all that just so you could be a cop again and you can start start going going and and, and breaking the law no and then I'm gonna say, oh no, you're not. And then I'm gonna tackle you and say, you're not gonna do another 9 11 on my watch, buddy. And then I'll be a hero and then make me a cop again. But then I would go to jail for the rest of my life at Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, yeah. but I'll come visit you. I'm a cop. I'm not, not doing that. Oh, come on, Marvin. <laughs> I'd do it for you. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, you're right. But come on, please. No, think of something else. <sighs> okay, well, I'm a pilot, so maybe I could fly through a bunch of birds and then land my plane in the Hudson River. But where would I find the birds? I'd have to fly around for a while and hope I ran into some birds low in New York. That's not gonna work. Man, he got really lucky. I bet he gets sucked off all the time, whenever he wants. I want Tom Hanks to play me in a movie. Well, then do something good. We, we gotta do the bomb thing. Tom Hanks would love that. No, no we're not doing the bomb thing. Not doing There's the gotta bomb. be something else in the world that's really good that would make your name look good. I don't know. It's just saving a plane is like the peak American hero thing to do. <gasps> oh, look, the, the news! Breaking news, okay? A murderer known as the trash bag strangler who goes around strangling women and putting their bodies in trash bags has claimed another victim, taking the death toll up to 19. Police Never. are urging women not to go outside, and if you see a man in all black, he's probably going to strangle you and put you in a trash bag. Marvin, I never want to go outside again! I yeah, we definitely got to throw Rose out there. Absolutely. He only target women? Your Rose, man. I think there's something outside waiting for you. Something calling your name, man. All I hear is a trash bag just rattling. Crack, 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 crack. That is not. That's not how trash bags sound. We are gonna cut that part out. I have a plan. What? That's what not if how Rose goes sound. outside with a trash bag, and whenever that guy shows up to kill her and put her in the bag, I shoot him in the head, and then I'm a hero, and then they'll make me a cop again, and then I'll eat a toaster strudel, and then I'll be happy, and I'll do my happy dance. What if you miss and then shoot me instead? I never miss. You w. missed today shooting at a guy sitting in a cop car, handcuffed, and you were a foot away from him. Yeah, Multiple and it's times. a good thing I missed too, because otherwise I would have killed an innocent man. But you were trying to kill him. I was trying to, but I didn't, it's and an that attempt makes to murder. it okay. Look, I'm not gonna miss this time. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna stay inside in the nice warm house where it's safe with my gun, and you stand out here in the cold with that trash bag until the scary strangler yep. shows up and starts strangling you. Then when he starts strangling you, I'm gonna open the door and shoot him in the head. Wait, why are you waiting for him to strangle me to shoot him? Shoot him when he walks up! Well, I gotta make sure it's the strangler before I shoot him. I gotta catch him in the end! Right, right, right. strangled! Right, right. Have fun! Uh, la, la, la. I like Just this girl. <laughs> I'm gonna strangle you! <laughs> John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. His name is my nah, name. Nah, he's doing a great job. Is his name my name Great too? job. Is I like my this. name John Jacob Jingleheimer yeah. Schmidt? Because that's not my name. Is it that common of a name? What a weird song. Why am I singing it? Mm -hmm. And oh, she oh, passed out yet? Yeah, yeah, hold on. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm here. I got him. Just hold on. But, um, oh, damn, this is hard. But hold, hold still. Uh, Bro. Yeah. Damn, but I missed. I can't stop choking. He is terrible. Like, bro, like Ray Charles could, like somebody could, uh, uh, somebody with no arms could shoot better. This is crazy. You at him point blank. You looking dead at his eyes, like these, right? And you can't even hit this man. Like the target ain't that hard. I know it's dark, but brother, you he, he right in front of you, dog. But you can you can stick your tongue out. He go and his tongue gonna touch his freaking forehead. Ain't no way you missing. But I this is a W though, cause the longer he stalls, the longer Rose gets strangled. It's a W. I feel like you're breaking. Yeah, I can too. Maybe closer. Oh, come on. <laughs> <Crazy>. <laughs> okay, what, what would Alex Baldwin do? 
This was a prop gun. Oh, okay, I got him. I see. Yes, Alright, now we're just gonna w, tell uh, Alex well, Drake. Mr. Guy, you did it. You did something so good it overpowered all the bad you've done in the past. I hereby order you to be allowed to be a cop again. Yay. <laughs> How are you feeling, baby? <laughs> Guess what? Uh, this I'm is a cop again, and it's all thanks to you, Rose. <laughs> he shouldn't be a cop. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I took a really long time to shoot him, but hey, I got my aim back. That—that that was the point of this video, right? To get my aim back. That—that—that's that, what it was about. Me not having good aim. That's it. That's the only thing that was wrong with me. Just the aim thing. Yeah, not even that. You skipping over the the biggest part. You being a motherfucking racist, bro. And the fact that he didn't even go to jail. For, for attempted murder on that poor innocent black man on Black History Month. And the way he got his badge back was by stopping a, 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 a freaking strangler. That's freaking crazy, bro. He shouldn't even be a lot. He shouldn't even be in the free world. He should be locked up in a jail cell, in the showers, showering with multiple men, but booty naked, bro. Because if that was me, if I was in that police uniform and I did something like that immediately, gone actually i might they might even skip the trial go straight to jail death penalty death row no dr dre um anyway hope you guys enjoyed it if you do you know what to do i actually kind of freak with this a little bit I ain't gonna lie, i'm gonna give it a cool i'm gonna give it a light seven a uh, 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 a strong six to a light seven did you like it did you i don't know i don't know how to do it. i'm gonna catch you later though man freak